What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Wow. I had a message this morning because sparkly, beautiful, fun things were happening this morning. And I really wanted to share it because I, I it's great news. And I just think in the middle of someone texting me today to tell me what they perceive as a prejudice or an attack, a willful attack against them to make them feel bad. I wasn't too sure that that's what was happening, but you know, it's not my situation. I'm not there, so I don't really know without fully investigating. Because I think sometimes, um, sometimes we assume other people feel or think a certain way and there may be negative consequences in their actions, but I guess I don't assume too much. For example, I had a friend who she always felt like, oh, this person's looking at me this way and this person doesn't like me. And I was like, I don't know, maybe that person's constipated. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Maybe whatever the facial expression they have or what they're doing, maybe it has nothing to do with you. Maybe it is something going on in their life and poof, doesn't have anything to do with you. Like you're creating the illusion of your self-importance in other people's lives and then Sometimes, sometimes it really is something maybe given off to you. And I couldn't help but think like, uh, if I go outside the door today and I already have this suspicion that everyone is against me, then as I approach the day, people are going to be against me. But it's so interesting to me because I just don't go out of the door thinking that way and feeling that way. And it's not like I'm this super 100% rah, 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 fireball positive all the time because I have my own problems and issues. But usually my thoughts when I walk out the door isn't how, who am I gonna fight today? Or what what obstacles am I gonna, I don't, I don't walk out of my door thinking about what obstacles I'm gonna have, you know what I'm saying? I And I usually, even though I like to, I could say this, I, I like to avoid people sometimes. Like I just really like to be inside my house and my atmosphere. I also know that I have to go out into the world and deal with the world and shine when I'm out there. And it's so funny too, because here I was today, unshowered and probably was I in a hurry and in a hurry to go do one thing. And I, I do this all the time. I'm not prepared sometimes to make a stop. Because here I was, went out the house, no bra, ashy legs, I ain't put no lotion on, you know what I'm saying? I just went on outside and I was like, oh, I'm going to go pick up my son. And then I was like, hey, boo, you want something to eat? And then I was like, oh, man, it's so cool because this new restaurant just opened up near me. And I like this place, so I wanted to stop. And it was crowded when I went in there. And there was a lot of people in there. And uh, I was chill though, because I was happy. I was in my own space, minding my own business. And I wasn't really worried about too much. And um, I just looked this woman in this and her husband came through the door. And I was just really digging what this man had on because he just had on like a, it was like a Hawaiian type shirt and nice color pants. And I was like, man, those colors are so nice. It was like he was going on vacation, but he was just coming to breakfast. I'm sure that, you know, they weren't on vacation or anything like that. And I made eye contact with him and I made eye contact with his wife. And then for some reason, I, tur I turned my head, but I was just like, I was like waiting for the chance to be like, hey, I like those colors or whatever. I was just going to come in there with my slice. Like I usually, you know, bust a joke or something. And so um, 
she was just coming towards me and she wanted to speak to me regardless. And I said, hey, who picked out, who picked out those clothes, you or him? And he was like, I picked them out, you know? And then she walked up to me and wanted to talk to me about my earrings, which, hey, these are some earrings that I made. Let me see if you can see them. Because it has Africa inside and it has the copper spiral for the energy. These are some earrings that I made among all the stuff that I make. And, um, And she was just loving the color and wanting to know if I could make some for Peru, the country of Peru. And I was like, well, you know, I could figure it out, you know. We just talked and we ended up talking and talking and her husband left and we were talking and talking and people were getting seated around us and we were talking. And by the time we got done talking, we talked about homeschool and all kinds of things that she was like, let me give you a hug. And I was just bragging on this the other day because I used to work at Sprint. And by the time I got done selling phones, people would hug me and my coworkers would be like, what the hell are you talking about? And it was just just talking, just talking to people about what they want to talk about. So this morning I got me a hug. And um, interesting, I sat there and then an older white woman came and sat next to me and another woman and then another two white ladies sat next to me and then I made a little comment and then we ended up talking what did we end up talking about the wi-fi something else have we ate at this restaurant and then that was cool and then um the other girl, I looked down, I didn't know she had a baby. The baby was so quiet and so cute and his eyes was wide open. I said, how old is he? Six months. And we had a little conversation. Then I started telling her stories about my son, which if my son was in the restaurant, he would have been like, "Uh, uh, uh, cut it. But he wasn't in there because he gets really embarrassed really easily about me telling stories and um, just telling her how big he was when he was born and how tenacious he was. And by the time these two ladies got up. They were like, bye, have a good day. And these two ladies, they were like, all right, enjoy your lunch. And the only reason I would even say that they were white is because the issue that the other young lady approached me about this morning was racism. And I was just thinking to myself, like, I just really don't go outside thinking that people are going to think I'm too dark or too whatever or that they're not gonna just, they're gonna just dislike me because I'm black, which I'm sure that happens. I'm sure it does, but I just can't go outside thinking like that and worrying about that because I just think if I do live that way, thinking that way, then that's what I'm gonna attract. But here it was, it was a lady from Peru, some other ladies, these ladies, I got people hugging me and, and getting my number, I'm, I've got a phone number, you know, I got somebody, you know, some, you know, possible future sale because I'm just walking outside being me and being happy being me and singing when the moon hits you. I'm just singing like silly songs and I'm in the st- when I'm in the store, I'm dancing. I'm just happy. I'm happy being me. And I'm just really not worried about other people, what they think of me or their problems. And I just can't even be responsible for all that. I can't, I can't absorb all this, whatever that other people have going on. I'm not responsible for their feelings. I'm not responsible for their prejudices or whatnot. I just can't do it. And I guess, you know, there can be a conflict And there can be situations, but I just can't walk out my door thinking about it and looking for it. I can't look for it. So to make the day even more amazing, I got this dragon's blood burning. It is smoking profusely. It's actually kind of crazy. Um, But to make the day even better, I did end up spending an extra long time waiting for my food, but it it gave me the opportunity to have all these conversations. So I went outside, came back in, and I waited some more, and the lady said, hey, 
you know, they're packing up your food. And then another girl brought me my food and she said, well, I don't see your ticket. And I didn't want to be crazy. You know, like, I'm just going to take the bag and go like, oh, well, if she don't know, you know, I don't know, <laughs> you know. But I waited for the lady who originally took my order and she took me on outside and she said, I have to talk to you. And then she said, have a good day. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> and I ended up with this beautiful breakfast for my son, pancakes uh, with um, some type of lemon stuff. See what the name of that was. It was beautiful. Such a beautiful breakfast. Oh, lemon ricotta pancakes. And then I had some type of trifecta thing. I wonder if you could see it. Okay, so I had these beautiful pancakes with the lemon. Yikes. I had these eggs. And then a side of grits and a, this cool little purple smoothie type drink. And it was like, have a great morning. So I got a phone number, a potential sale, a potential friend, talked to all these people, had a good time and walked out. And I was just happy being me. And I was just so, I feel like it was a testimony to what was being sent to me this morning in that message. Because I, I remember, I remember in the beginning of 2020 when all these riots were happening and different things were happening and I was really stressed and having that feeling like the world was against me. And a man was outside cutting the grass and uh, I was like, just wanting to be afraid. And then I had to like talk myself out of it. Like, wait a minute, that is propaganda on the internet that is you know something being pushed by media and platforms to promote racism and to promote negativity and to create loosh and and have people bent out of shape worried scared to come outside scared to communicate and scared to talk to people and I'm just going to say what I'm noticing more and more as I go different places like we were at Universal City Walk and everybody was outside dancing and people were of all different races and they really, people really don't want smoke. They really don't want a lot of heat. They really just want to be happy. They really just want to be happy, safe, and secure. And the only thing stopping them is fear. Fear of other people, fear of being misunderstood. Because I find like a lot of people are of a different race and they're more worried about how they're being perceived and they kind of close themselves off more so than them honestly truly hating you or disliking you they honestly are truly more people are just afraid of being misinterpreted or being mistreated or being hurt that's like the biggest thing and for my friends, my galactic chicks out there, I said what I had to say and talked to the creator of all there was or all there is. And I pulled a card from the Archangel Power Tarot deck. And I only pulled one card and because I was gonna make this a brief video. It's just a little, a little raindrop or something in the middle of the week, which you can hear the thunder right now. And I pulled the card, it's the eight of Michael. And every time we talk, there's some type of correlation or would you say synchronicity to what we discuss. And so the eight of Michael, says you can be free, make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. And I'll read the explanation for it, but I wanna tell you there is the Archangel Michael is above this woman and she's going through this gate. And it's like, yeah, you might be behind the gate or in a fence or behind a door, but there's no lock on the door. There's no chains. 
So you can be free. You can walk right on out and change whatever the situation is. And it says, make a courageous choice. So it's your choice. So you can stand behind that gate and be feel protected because you're behind the gate or you could choose to free yourself. Even to say you can be your own prison guard, like you could be your own jail because you hide behind things and you choose to hide behind these things so that you can feel safe behind these things. But then you could also let those things go and you could be free of all that, including fear, right? So it says you could be free. You may feel as though you're trapped in your situation, but that is an illusion. You have to look past your fears and open your eyes to the opportunities. The ways to freedom may scare you to lack to the lack of due to lack of confidence. But you can ask your angels for courage. Soon you'll find that you are stronger than you realized. Commit to changing your circumstances and then believe in your ability to move forward. Additional meaning, lack of confidence in one's own power, not seeing things clearly, and self-sabotage. Ha! Huh. Did I even know that's what the card was for? I did not. I pulled it and set it aside, but I already knew what I wanted to talk about, which was how we hold ourselves back thinking that the world is against us and people are against us. And guess what? If we walk outside in our own confidence, whoever is against us, they're, they're not going to want to be even attracted to us. Actually, as we walk outside and we're more positive, people like that are repelled from us. They don't want to be around all that positivity because it's spooky and it's annoying and they don't want to be around it. So, you know, that is your freaking weapon, a weapon, your positivity, your confidence, your grace, your guides, because if you feel that, you know, you don't have that feeling inside of you, you can ask for help. Now, that's one thing I learned. Did you, when it comes to your guides and guardian angels, they're waiting for you to ask for help. And angels, to my understanding, they cannot intercede unless you ask. So if, you know, it says knock and the door shall be opened, ask and you shall receive. So what do you want? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to change? What are you trying to make happen in your life? Do something about it. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe.